which planet rules you? Most of you, if I ask you that, you'll tell me probably Saturn, I'm a Gemini, I'm a Taurian, right? I ask this question to my evaluator. Which planet rules you? And he turns around and says, his wife, yes. <laughs> so, for a lot of men, when I ask them, which planet rules you? They look scared at their wife and think of men are from Mars, <laughs> women are from Venus, and start telling you, my wife exactly Venus. Right? And that's how we think about men and women. We have these categories that help us understand how men and women are. And it helps, right? It works. For example, look at this picture. See? I'm pretty sure there's something in your head right now. Look at this picture. I'm pretty sure you have some opinion. Let's keep it right there. Let me start off with a joke before I explain what I was trying to do. Men are sent to help and they look around and start a conversation like, did you see that hot princess there? <laughs> Women are sent to heaven and they gather around and say, did you see that female there? No dressing sense at all. <laughs> it's always been stereotyped how men and women will react or how things ought to be done. So when I was in college, this would nicely do. I grew up, who was a female? I grew up more, I had to be feminine and I had to walk like this. I had to be a girl. I had to do things a certain way. And it helped. It helped me know how I ought to behave. And categorization made life easy. But then, what happened? Imagine my dad every morning sitting with his newspaper, his cup of tea, and he's flipping, flipping, flipping. And I ask him, oh my god, your reading speed is so awesome. You're so quick with the newspaper. And you know what he told me? I'm not reading. I'm finding out all sale ad, tearing them, destroying them, and hiding them away. <laughs> it talks of stereotyping. It talks of how we try to say, Women do it a certain way, men do it a certain way. Part two of my life, I'm sitting nicely in a parlor, waiting for my petition to come, and I look around. There's a man sitting with cucumber in his eyes, face back on his face. Men don't do that. Oh my god, something is wrong. Me and my friend the other day were in Bombay talking to each other in the taxi cab, right? And you guys are having this long conversation. And the unit comes from behind, puts his hand in the cab, and goes like, Madam, lend me some money. And he turns, hey, pocket word. He called me, Madam, because he was a guy. So just because he had long hair, he was a female. And then the stereotyping goes on and on, and I get more and more confused. That what men supposed to be a certain way? What women supposed to be a certain way? This blurring created chaos. Was it not bad enough that God made transgenders who had to suffer for so many years because they couldn't feel male or female? Now our own community was confusing poor people like me. What do I do when a homosexual couple walks in? I mean, this is an honest confession. In clinic, I can't do couple therapy and I just keep staring at them unless they make it easy for me by saying, Madam, I am the male and he is the female. Isn't that unfair? Aren't we trying to put people into categories just to make our life easy? Are we trying to fit people into structures which they are not meant to be fit in? Aren't we trying to force people to be the way they ought to be because we think they ought to be like that? What about the 
the misfits? What about the people who like to do it differently? The act I did before is the morning routine of a friend of mine. And he's a male because he loves himself. He takes care of his skin. And that's the routine he told me when I asked him, your skin glows, what do you do about it? When I showed you this image, I am sure the men were looking at the female and the women were looking at the clothes because that's what we've been trained to think. Out here, I'm pretty sure the woman must have just said car and leave it. And men must have been thinking, which brand? Which brand? What's the price? Can I afford it or not tomorrow? Why? When I look at this car, I look at the alloys, nice alloys. Will I be comfortable in this? What's the top part in this? So who told me I need to be a certain way? What if I'm a divergent? What if, I, if I'm different? What if I don't want to fit in? Can I be me? Can I be allowed to be who I really want to be? <coughs> Who's going to tell me I can't do it? Is it the society or is it my head? Probably I can be divergent. Probably I can be different. Probably I can't be a male or a female, I can be the other's category that likes to do it differently, that likes to enjoy life. Probably I'm neither from Mars, neither from Venus. I'm a Marvel. <laughs> when I want a Mars character, I pick that. When I want a Venus character, I pick that. And I live my life the way I want to be, having fun, enjoying life, and being who I am. Be a divergent. Choose your planet. There are nine planets. Enjoy where you live. Thank you.